So you just got your brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. Well, so did I. And I'm so excited about this phone more than any other, but there are some things that I need to set up first before I can actually enjoy using this device. And I'm gonna share with you 10 things that you must set up first. Let's go. Okay, first, let's customize the side button so you can easily power off your device. You see, when you first get your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra out of the box, simply pressing the side button is only going to open up Bixby. It's a virtual voice assistant, but you may not want that. And if you do want to have that, then you're fine just keeping the side button the way it is. But for me, I would like a way to be able to power off my device easily. I'm going to show you how to set up your side button to power off your device. Go to your settings and touch on advanced features. From there, you will see the side button in the menu selection, touch on it. This will bring up selections for two options, double pressing the side button or pressing and holding the side button. I have selected double tapping on the side button to open my flashlight application. And whenever I press and hold, I want the device to power off. Now you can see when I double tap on the side button that my flashlight will turn on. And if I press and hold, the power off menu will appear. And you also have options where you can make an emergency call quickly. The next setup feature is about customizing your navigation bar. By default, the S24 Ultra will have buttons on the very bottom of your home screen. One for recently opened apps, the other is to access your home screen, and then the other is a go back button. The navigation bar makes this much easier easier and much more convenient and will allow you to navigate faster. So here's how to set this whole thing up. Go to your settings and touch on display. Scroll down until you see navigation bar and touch on it. Now you'll be able to select swipe gestures, which will place a navigation bar at the very bottom of your home screen. Another thing that I like to do with my Samsung devices is give it a unique name. And it's extremely useful because whenever it is that you have multiple devices, you want to be able to recognize those devices by the names that it is assigned to. So Samsung, the S24 Ultra, for example, will give you a default name. You can go ahead and change that whenever it is that you're trying to connect to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi Direct, you'll be able to recognize the name that you assigned to the device. So here's how you can have a customizable name for your device. Let me show you how to do it. Go to your settings and from there, touch on About Phone. When you do that, you will see the image of the S24 Ultra and just below, you can touch on the button edit to customize the name of your device. Once you're finished entering the name, don't forget to hit done to complete the process. Now, number four, always on display, which is set to off by default when you unbox your Galaxy S24 Ultra. This feature allows you to always have the clock and the calendar on your display, even when you're not using your phone. If you double tap anywhere on your home screen, you'll see the display will turn off. And it will go completely black. This feature allows you to have the clock and the calendar, the day of the week, and the battery percentage on your screen at all times, and it will appear dimly on your screen so that it conserves battery power. Now, here's how you set this whole thing up. Go to settings and touch on lock screen. And in the menu selection, touch on always on display. Here you'll find selections. Tap to show, show always, show as scheduled, show for new notifications, show always. Now when you turn on your screen, the clock and the calendar will always be on your screen dimly lit so you'll be able to see exactly what's going on 24 hours a day. This next feature is a hidden feature that allows your phone to respond much faster by reducing the speed of the animations. Your phone will become much more responsive and you'll be able to just snap those windows open with without having the delayed animations that are on your phone. You see, your animations cause a slight delay and it also consumes more power. So let me show you how to turn the animations off. Go to your settings and scroll all the way down until you see About Phone. From here, you'll be looking for Software Information. Touch on it. Then after that, you will see Build Number in the selection. Tap on that seven times to set up your developer's options. Now, go back to your settings and you will see that there is a new menu option at the very bottom below About Phone and that is called Developer's Options. At the very top, you'll be able to use the search tool and search for Animator Duration Scale. If 
if you just type it in partial you'll see that it will come up in the menu system below and you can just tap on animated duration scale this will show you three options one will be window one will be transitions and one will be animator the one that you're looking for is animator now you see all of these are set by default to times one you can go ahead and set all of these to 0.5 or simply turn them off completely now you can see that there's a drastic difference in the speed of your phone the way it responds to commands as I open and close apps everything is snappy and feels very very quick and there does not appear to be any lagging or slowness in regard to my animations because there is none so how about another must-do setup let's improve our audio quality and our sound the Samsung Galaxy s24 Ultra is capable of providing excellent sound quality if you set it up correctly. So let me show you how to do that right now. Go to your settings and look for sound and vibration. From there, scroll down and touch on sound quality and effects. There might be a pop-up message that comes up that's asking you if you want to allow nearby connections, you can just simply hit allow. Now, as you can see, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos for gaming are turned off by default. I bet you didn't know that, did you? You will want to turn these features on. And when you touch on Dolby Atmos, you will be provided options such as auto movie music voice and further down on the menu you will see that there is a selection that allows you to choose equalizer now the equalizer is always set to normal by default but you can choose any one of those to customize the sound and then you can also choose customize if you want to be able to have the more specific sound that you're looking for and all you have to do is just to move those little blue balls up and down until you're satisfied with what you're hearing now now, number seven, let's go to the camera features. The reason why this is so important is because your S24 Ultra does not already come set up with the best camera quality settings. I bet you didn't know that one either, did you? So I'm going to show you how to improve your camera quality right off the bat so that way you get the best photos, best videos as possible, and here's how you do it. Touch on your camera app and select photo now you can see at the very top there is something that says 12 megapixels, which is adequate if you're taking photos for social media or if you're sharing it with your family and friends but it's not exactly the best quality so what you want to do is to boost it to the highest resolution and all you have to do is to touch on 12 megapixels and select 200 megapixels. This is going to allow you to be able to have maximum resolution so whenever it is that you're cropping in or you're blowing up the photo, you don't lose any quality. Now, if you go to video mode, you'll see that it's already set to full HD 30 frames per second, which is basically 1080p. Not exactly acceptable for today's standards, am I right? So you can change that setting over to 4K 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or even 8K at 30 frames per second. Now you'll find that by doing this, the quality of your photos and your videos will be much better and they'll fall in line with what's actually going on in today's standards and everyone will think you're a pro. Now there are some other features on the camera settings such as setting up my tracking autofocus and also my shooting methods which will allow me to have a much more versatile system when I'm taking photos or doing video recording. But I'll get into all of that on the next video upload next week. Don't miss that one. Number eight, a brand new feature on your microphone settings. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is equipped with a brand new noise reduction feature called Mic Mode which reduces the level of background sound whenever it is that you're on a phone call. Now this feature is not available on any other Samsung device. So I'm going to show you how this works. Now whenever it is that you're making a phone call and you're on an active call, you can simply pull down once, pull down twice, and at the very top you will see something that says mic mode. If you touch on that, you will see that it is already set to the default setting of standard, which means that it's just like any other phone. But if you select voice focus mode, then all of the noise in the background as you're actively speaking on the phone will be canceled out. Now, in the tech world, whenever it is that you get a new feature, there will always be something that you need to sacrifice. Am I right? So here it is. The quality of your voice will not be as good when you're using voice focus mode, and that is the sacrifice that you have to make. So I would recommend that you only use this feature under extremely noisy conditions. Number nine, let's set up an advanced feature on your S24 Ultra. This is going to allow you to 
process data only on your device instead of using cellular connectivity. The reason for this is for privacy and security. And when data that is being transferred is going over to the Samsung servers, we're going to have this perform data processing only on device. Now, some will argue that data processing only on your device will not allow you to utilize artificial intelligence appropriately. This is not entirely true because the S24 Ultra has a much more powerful processor and Samsung's term for artificial intelligence on a Samsung device is basically AI. They just use that terminology for whatever reason and the S24 Ultra's Snapdragon Gen 3 processor is more than capable of handling direct data processing on device. So here's how you turn on that feature. Go to your settings and touch on advanced features and from there you will touch on advanced intelligence. You will see two options. The process data only on device will be off by default and you can easily turn this feature on to process data only on your device. I will have more information about this feature on the next upcoming videos. Stay tuned. And the last feature has to do with app security, allowing you to enable a built-in antivirus feature. Now this feature is only available on certain Samsung devices such as the S24 Ultra and it will automatically scan your apps on your device to detect viruses. Now let me show you how to turn this feature on. Go to your settings and scroll down to security and privacy. Then touch on app security. You will see that you can now touch on the option app protection to activate it. This feature will allow your S24 Ultra to scan your phone periodically and check for viruses. You can also initiate a manual scan simply by pressing the scan button on your phone. Now in a few weeks you'll be seeing lots of S24 Ultra tutorial videos on this channel and my goal is to give you as much informative content as possible so you'll have the utmost understanding about everything that has to do with this Samsung flagship device. And until then, enjoy your new Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'll see you on the next one.